Disney movies have always been a safe haven for children growing up. The magical utopias they create always bring a sense of calm and joy to kids who found a friend in these goofy little beings that even us adults love so much. However, it seems like the Disney movies of today lack the magic that the old films had. But how bad are they exactly? Let's take a look. First of all, the new movies lack a sense of nostalgia. All right, this seems pretty obvious since it hasn't been that long for some of these films to induce that nostalgic factor. But come on, it's a Disney film. The writers are known to pen down old timey tales that are reminiscent of one's childhood memories. So we guess Disney is trying to get on with the times and therefore producing content that makes them fit in with the rapidly progressing trends. But why is that such a bad thing now, you ask? Well, guys, isn't reality already too exhausting to be witnessing it all over again on our screens too? Can we just have a break? We can't travel back in time, of course. We'd need our own Bruce Banner for that. But wouldn't it be nice to be reminded of the good times even for an hour or so until we have to return to our own dreadful realities that lack the magic a Disney movie is supposed to have? Nostalgia brings comfort that as kids was familiar to us. And movies like Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Mulan gave us that comfort even though they weren't exactly inspirations drawn from reality. But that's what's so great about Disney. They take something fictitious and bring it to life, and that's hardly something you see anymore today. Next up, the animation is a bit too Gen Z. Before you get the cannonballs directed our way, let us make it clear that there's absolutely nothing wrong with anything Gen Z related. Even if their overuse of TikTok is a bit concerning, we're here to talk about the animation of today that seems a bit too crisp for it to be considered an animated film by Disney. Many fans have noticed that the animation of recent films like Coco, Moana, Encanto, Soul, and Turning Red almost feels like the same stencil was used for all of the characters. There's no originality anymore. It seems like Disney is really going for that realistic animation trope, even if it's a paradox in itself. The eraser of 2D animation means that there will no longer be films that will have the same charm as cell animation, and there will be an entire generation that doesn't know the joy of seeing hand-drawn characters goofing around on the screen. Sure, the latest artistic work is undoubtedly mind-blowing with its three-dimensional animation, but it seems like Disney is trying too hard and perhaps blurring the lines between animated movies and live-action films. Speaking of live-actions, Disney has got to stop making them. We've had all our picks of fan casts that we would ever like for certain films. And while Disney has been pretty spot on with some of the castings, like Will Smith as the genie in Aladdin, surprisingly working, or Emma Watson as Belle in Beauty and the Beast, you can't lie to us with a straight face and say that these live actions were cinematic masterpieces. Because they aren't. Disney has made these poor decisions to adapt classics onto the silver screen, banking on one thing that they're certain will get them views, nostalgia. To compensate for its earlier problematic stereotypes, Disney moved on to make live action films so that it could paint its wrongs right and justify them through stellar casting. We're looking at you, Beauty and the Beast, except for an English Lumiere. And even though Disney has succeeded so far because the film's box office performances were solid as always, to loyal Disney veterans, the live action films have been pretty disappointing. And even the CGI isn't enough to save them. Remember the 2019 release of Lion King? Yeah, for a film that had been done years into the making, one would think the CGI would at least be a solid A-, minus. but unfortunately it was very patchy. Even though it was a scene-for-scene -scene reshoot of the original, the CGI made it extraordinarily underwhelming, and it made it lose the warmth and charm of a classic Disney movie. The animals seemed motionless, and it was hard to establish a connection with the story. Frankly speaking, the only live action that has wowed us has been Angelina Jolie's Maleficent. And since then, it's been hard for any film to live up to its hype. Even Dumbo lacked the wow factor the original film had. Disney might think the audience today wants more realism incorporated into its media, but it could not be more wrong. Because when you make something that appears so close to reality, it loses its magic. And that's how CGI has ruined these new Disney films. Moving on to the repeated storytelling of the new films. Disney's three-act storytelling formula has been praised and recognized by everyone, except 
Disney. The original films from the Renaissance era of Disney followed the same structure of a romantic musical comedy with palpable tension in the third act, followed by quick resolution and an ultimate happily ever after. This worked for Disney, and it was why its films garnered so much success in the early years. But in the race of trying to be new and different, Disney somehow buried this formula and forgot about how it rose to fame. Aside from Turning Red, which was a refreshing take on the coming of age of young girls, Disney has been churning the same repetitive narrative since its Renaissance era. Now it's always about the characters having something to prove so they can go on these big quests to overcome their shortcomings to prove their worth. And frankly, it's gotten a bit too boring. Alas, the films now lack their thematic oomph. There's no movie that will ever hit like Tarzan again. Even if they got Chris Hemsworth to play him for a reboot, sorry Skarsgård, Disney has been so focused on aesthetics that it's forgotten how true storytelling depends more on the characters and the pace of the plot than some refined pixels on a screen. For example, Mulan was really well shot, but it lacked the original flair that made it an underrated fan favorite. Or even Alice in Wonderland, which lacked emotional depth despite being a visual pleasure. Disney has politicized its script to the point where viewers feel like there's no escaping choosing sides. The recent films have been curated to be politically correct, so as to not offend certain groups. While that is a very commendable intention, it doesn't mean you cannot incorporate humor while still being respectful about it. Modern Disney has become so controlled that almost nothing in the script will be just for laughs. Like that one scene in Snow White when the dwarves are just hanging out and having a bath, it doesn't really add much to the story, but it's the characters having fun that makes you feel like not everything in life should be taken so seriously. The subtle, layered life lessons made those old films incredibly soulful, whereas now there has to be some sort of great big sacrifice to show viewers that big gestures are worth something, and anything less amounts to nothing at all. Come to think of it, Moana had to go up against the Kakamora from stealing the heart of her own in Coco, and Miguel literally goes to the land of the dead to reverse his family's ban on music. That sounds like a lot of effort that could have been a wholesome scene in the old Disney. To sum it all up, Disney has forgotten its values. In an effort to stay relevant, Disney has sought after strategies that would give it commercial success, no doubt, but it's also gotten them into trouble with fans who've given years and years of their youth to them. Long gone are the days you'll find someone like Pooh and Piglet just talking about their lives, while trying to be there for Donkey, who has shown to be depressed. A first for the franchise. It was the conversations that Disney was able to initiate that made it what it is today. Back then, Disney inspired creativity, and it gave hope to young people to pursue their dreams. Many artists and writers of today give these classic films due credit for their being the inspiration behind their careers. But can anyone say that about the films of today? We don't think so. Nowadays, Disney focuses too much on adventures, and very little on being symbolic. Its efforts of inclusivity might be a reason why it dares not to take big risks, but that shouldn't stop it from being the flag bearers of magic. It's time Disney reinvents itself and starts making movies that are unique and don't lack soul. Maybe it's time for them to dig up those three-act formulas and finally write a film that encompasses true Disney magic again and not just the commercialized version of it. That's a wrap for this video, guys. Do you think that Disney movies have become redundant or have they stepped up their game in recent years? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. See you in the next one.